soil erosion, and the resulting sedimentation caused by land disturbances impacts the environment, damaging aquatic and recreational resources, as well as aesthetic qualities. Employees can help reduce water pollution by making sure dirt and debris aren't washed into the storm drain system near utility repairs, including water and sanitary sewer lines, storm drain systems, street repairs, sidewalk construction and repairs, landscaping, and power pole installation. This video will show how to protect stormwater quality by using best management practices. We'll start with general principles, then go over specific BMPs for erosion control, sediment control, and waste management. Projects that disturb one or more acre must comply with the state's stormwater permit for construction activities. If a permit is required, supervisors or environmental coordinators will provide specific instructions. All projects must be managed to prevent or reduce soil and pollutants from being washed into storm drains, creeks, or lakes. In addition to preventing soil erosion, all materials used on construction site must be kept out of the runoff. Trash, debris, oil, grease, lime, and concrete wash water can all damage the environment. A couple of terms that we will use when talking about stormwater might need explanation. Erosion is the removal or wearing away of soil due to the action of water or wind. Sediment is the soil particles that settle out of flowing water. Preventing soil erosion is more effective than trying to remove sediment from runoff. Some good ways to prevent soil erosion are to minimize the amount of disturbed area, divert runoff or flow water away from disturbed areas, place dirt stockpiles out of the street and away from runoff or flowing water, cover stockpiles with plastic or provide a barrier such as a silt fence around the pile to keep the materials contained. Best Management Practices, or BMPs, are tools used to reduce or prevent water pollution. Erosion control BMPs are used to protect disturbed soils from being washed off by rainfall. Vegetation is a natural form of erosion control. Grasses or other plants can provide permanent erosion protection. Mulching is another form of erosion control. Laying down a layer of straw or wood mulch over exposed soil will help reduce erosion. Using erosion control blankets made of mesh matting, wood fiber, or plastic is also an acceptable method. Plastic sheeting may be used for short-term protection of disturbed areas or dirt stockpiles. Even effective erosion control will not keep all fine sediments out of stormwater. No matter the size of the project, measures should be taken to control sediment and prevent it from entering the storm drain system. An organic filter berm is a natural way to prevent sediment runoff. It is a one to three foot high berm of mulch and compost placed around a disturbed area. A silt fence is a filter fabric trenched into the soil and attached to supporting posts. The filter fabric must be buried at least six inches into the soil or else the water may flow right under the fabric. A triangular sediment dike is a welded wire mesh shaped into a triangle that is covered with filter fabric. All of these methods use the same principle. They prevent silt runoff by slowly releasing the water after the sediment falls out. Additional sediment control can be achieved by placing wire reinforced filter fabric directly in front of the storm drain inlets. This method must always be used in conjunction with other on-site methods, otherwise there will be too much sediment in the water and the storm drain will clog.
Debris and trash are also a concern for stormwater quality. Use covered trash cans, bins, and roll-off boxes for disposing trash and debris. Follow proper material storage and spill cleanup procedures for chemicals used on construction sites. Use designated facilities to capture wash water from concrete truck cleaning. Which is a long-term method of erosion control for exposed soil? A. Placing plastic sheeting over the exposed soil. B. Placing erosion control blankets over exposed soil. C. Placing mulch over exposed soil. D. Seeding and growing vegetation. The answer is D. Seeding and growing vegetation. The other options may be used for the duration of the project, but growing vegetation is the preferred method of long-term erosion control. Every project must be managed to prevent stormwater pollution. A. True. B. False. The answer is A. True. Every project must be managed to prevent stormwater pollution, but projects that disturb one or more acres of land also require a stormwater permit. On a construction site, sediment and stormwater runoff should be controlled by A. The existing trees on location B. Building a silt fence C. Plugging storm drain inlets D. It cannot be controlled The answer is B. Building a silt fence A silt fence, in combination with other sediment controls, should be used on all construction sites. Concrete trucks should be washed out. A. At the construction site. B. Only during a rainstorm. C. In designated areas only. D. Once a week. The answer is C. In designated areas only where wash water can be contained and is not allowed to enter the storm drain system. Soil erosion and the resulting sedimentation caused by land disturbances damages the environment. Every project should be managed to control soil erosion and sedimentation. Employees can help prevent stormwater pollution by using soil erosion blankets, mulching, or seeding vegetation on exposed soil by utilizing organic filter berms, silt fencing, triangular sediment dikes, and inlet protection to prevent sediment from entering the storm drain system, by washing out concrete trucks only in designated areas, and storing chemicals properly on construction sites. By using these best management practices, you will be helping keep our community and waterways clean and healthy for future generations to enjoy. Thank you.